Josh from Reset Adventures here. We're heading out today, Saturday morning. Uh, we're going to go and have a look at the uh, Cox's River, six foot track. Sort of come into the back of Janolan Caves and over into Kananga Boyd today. Try and find a camp somewhere up in there if the weather's not too bad. It's pretty overcast. It's not meant to rain. We'll see how we go, but I uh, haven't really done much of this YouTube stuff, so I thought I'd. Um, just start filming what I'm doing um, people are asking more and more about where my tours can take you what we do out on a tour and all that sort of stuff so I thought I'd um, just show you what I do hey guys just turned on to Cox River Road the uh, weather is average at best sort of been raining since I left Bathurst pretty well at the base of the Blue Mountains now sort of where we're coming in from so we'll uh, we'll come on in and we'll see I don't know where I'm gonna camp tonight I haven't got my awning on because I'm waiting on a new bag to turn up for it so yeah could be a bit of a fun wet night but that's all part of it, so we'll go see what we can find. So I've just pulled over. It's about 10.30. I'm going to uh, put the oven on. Let it preheat. Got a uh, got a bit of pizza to put in there for lunch today. So this is out on the Cox River Road. This little spot it just sort of looks like a little you know, single car night camp if you need to, I guess. Looks like someone sort of backed a caravan in there or something. And this is the Cox River, so it's definitely up. It's flowing a lot harder than I've normally seen. It'll be interesting to see it at the suspension bridge in a minute. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll keep going. Hey guys, so we're at the start of the six foot track, sort of part of the road down to the uh, swing bridge. Now, around behind me, um, sort of where you come in, this is the junction, but the sign says that it's a locked gate, and uh, it's not the case. So, if you do come down here and you see this sign here, it's not true. I just drove through it, it's not locked wasn't even padlocked it was just pushed closed so we sort of come in from this way off the Great Western Highway now this way here we'll go back up to Janolan Caves so we'll close this uh, close this gate again and obviously full drive only whoa there full drive only Hey guys, so we're down here at the uh, six foot track camp area where the swing bridge is on the Cox River and uh, it's 
it's been a while since anyone's maintained this place I think the grass is about waist high um, there's a few little sort of little tracks that are cut in here where the walkers have come through but as far as parks have gone yeah they haven't been down here in a while so I've thrown the hat on and the raincoat on we're gonna go for a walk sort of the Cox River's just down there and the swing bridge is up this way so uh, we'll go for a walk I'll show you around quickly and it's not a bad spot it just just needs a bit of loving there's toilets toilet long drop toilets here and so you can camp down here but it's um, car based camping only unless you want to carry everything in so it's it's not horrible I personally probably wouldn't come down here to camp about half an hour away there's much better spots but we'll see how we go we'll uh, we'll go for a wander I think from memory the walks only about a kilometer that way and um, yeah we'll go have a look Hotels Bridge for the six foot track. The six foot track was opened in 1884. This bridge has been constructed as an alternative crossing for hikers during periods of heavy flow in the Cox River. The design of the bridge was by Orv Arup and Partners Consulting Engineers. Fabrication was by CNJ Welding in Orange. Construction of the bridge was by the soldiers from the 3rd Troop 1st Field Squadron and the Royal Australian Engineers from Holsworthy Army Base. The naming of the bridge is in memory of Corporal Robert Walter Bowtill, who was the first member of the unit to be killed during the Vietnam War. The bridge was opened the 23rd of April 1992. Well guys, this is it. This is uh, the swing bridge. I'm about halfway. Sort of stopped to get a quick video, but yeah, the river is smashing along, so...
right guys, slight change of plans. Um, Kananga Boyd, where I was planning on camping tonight, is still closed. Um, on the website it's open. Uh, a few people that I talked to while I was out and about have said that it's still closed due to aerial pest management. Um, so yeah, so I've sort of ducked over back between Oberon and Bathurst and I'm just going to camp at a little favourite spot called Flat Rock in between O'Connell and Taranar, um, just right on the fish river there. I've got my fly fishing rod, might have a little bit of a fish if the river's not running too quick. And yeah, just going to set up camp, sort of further I head west, the sunnier it gets, so pretty happy with that decision. Uh, as I said, I haven't got the awning on, so it's going to be a bit of a fun night if we camped up in Kananga Boyd. I just would have gotten a bit wet, or the swag would have gotten wet anyway, but we'll, uh, yeah, we'll head up into uh, Flat Rock. And um, yeah, I'll let you know when we get there, and I'll show you guys around and set up. Look at that! <laughs> Little rainbow trout, straight on fire. Hey guys, well, just cooking some dinner at the moment, having some uh, marinated chicken pieces and a bit of our Alfredo all set up. Been here for a couple of hours now, sort of just been relaxing. Had a bit of a fish and caught a couple of little trout, which was nice. So this will be me for the night. I'll uh, catch up with you guys again tomorrow.
guys. Um, about 7.30. And just hopped up and had a quick fish. And um, Yeah, beautiful morning. Good night last night, no rain, which was nice. And um, yeah, so now we're just gonna head up to, back up to camp, which is about 500 meters upstream. And we'll, um, yeah, we'll make a bit of brekkie and start slowly packing up. Head out about uh, mid-morning today, I suppose. See how we go.